inside Ohio Stadium. We'll have better than 105,000 fans on hand when UCF kicks off with Ohio State Saturday at 12.01. Well, Michael Dodori, as I mentioned, this stadium can get loud. From an offensive standpoint for UCF, what changes? Is it silent counts? Is it hand signals? How, offensively, how does that crowd affect it? Well, I think you're going to see a lot of silent count, but it's, it's being disciplined. It's not putting your offense in a first and 15 scenario because that's going to lead to a third and long, and the crowd's really going to get into it. It could rain. They say forecast 60% chance of showers. If it does rain, how does it affect the game plan offensively and defensively? Well, you're going to have a wet ball, and offensively you want to secure the ball. UCF is known for the smash mouth type of offense, running the ball between the tackles, and it's going to be up to Storm Johnson to make sure he controls that ball and keep it secure. Defensively, it's going to be using the wet ball to jar it loose. The UCF defense has shown that it's astute in taking the ball away. We're plus three in the turnover margin, and if that continues this week, good things will happen. Ohio State, very talented quarterback in Braxton Miller. Mike, what's key for UCF defensively to prevent him from having a big day? Well, he's a good quarterback, Mark. They're already talking maybe prematurely about Heisman candidate, but I think you got to hope to contain him. He's going to get yards. They're going to complete some balls for yardage, but what's key for UCF's defense for success is getting these guys down quick. Don't go for the big knockout punch. Just get them down on the ground and live to fight another day. Great opportunity, UCF and 14th-ranked Ohio State. Radio coverage begins at 10 a.m. Kickoff is set for 12.01. The Knights and Buckeyes here in Columbus. So, Night fans, this is Brent Harvey. Come out September 15th as we take on FIU and Pack Bright House Stadium.